Hey guys, what's up? It's Umber here, and I hope you all are having an amazing day. I am having a great day, but you probably didn't come to this video to hear me talk about my life. This is not a vlog. This is... I'm drawing a blank here right now. My, my mind is an intel processor right now. <laughs> so... What I'm going to be doing this video is I want to help walk you guys through which resolution is best for you. 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. So I realize there may be some other resolutions that people play at, like if some people are still playing at 720p and some people have enough money to play on 8K. One th I'm just going to focus on these three resolutions when it comes to gaming and the advantages and disadvantages for each one. So let's get into this. So first and foremost, 1080p. There is still a lot of people playing on 1080p displays to this day. If you check the Steam hardware sur survey, most people are still playing at 1080p and some people are still playing 1080p a lot on consoles. And there's a reason why it's so popular and still widely used to this day. So the first advantage is it's the most affordable resolution that you can get on the market that looks good. And you can find 1080p 144Hz displays for usually only around 200 US dollars and sometimes even less or maybe a little bit more. And despite being a lower end resolution, if you do want to play on a smaller size monitor, so like let's say around 24 inches, the image quality will still look really nice. Like I was, like certain games still looked really nice when I was playing on my 1080p display. And due to the abundance of 1080p gaming monitors, you'll rarely find an issue in terms of finding one. Also, playing games at 1080p on PC will be far easier on PC, which will help if you have a lower end build or like you haven't been able to find a new graphics card or something like that. Basically, if you're running on lower or mid range um, PCs, then 1080p might be the best for you. And additionally, if you're playing on PS5 or Xbox Series X, the, uh, there's the option to play at 1080p 120 FPS and while there are those systems are capable of 4k 124 FPS only HDMI 2.1 devices can play at that setting and any 4k displays will downscale to 1080p to play at 120 FPS for PS5s this way you can play without having to downscale now as nice as 1080p can be, there still are some disadvantages, so unless you are playing on a monitor with a screen size of 24 inches and below, the image quality will not look as sharp compared to its competitors or even its smaller size counterparts and it will look worse the bigger you go in terms of screen size. And for some reason on PC, Playing on a 1080p resolution will increase CPU load rather than higher resolutions which don't impact it as much. So it's important to have a decent CPU when playing 1080p games too. And now we will go to 1440p. For the most part, 1440p is considered to be the sweet spot in terms of display resolutions for gamings. A lot of people when upgrading will go for like a 1440p 144Hz display, which is what I upgraded to back in December and I absolutely love it. So let's talk about some of the advantages of 1440p. So. For, like I mentioned, 1440p is widely considered to be the sweet spot in terms of resolution for PC gaming, and especially at 27 inches where it has a pixel density of around 108 ppi, which is really good mind you. And 1440p is that nice compromise where you still have amazing image quality, like the difference between it and 1080p is astronomical which is very important for single player games. While it's still capable, or many builds are still capable of high frame rates for competitive titles. And if you prefer gaming on a monitor with a high refresh rate, 
when playing PC or Xbox Series X, then 1440p is your best bet. And gaming at a higher resolution such as 1440p will reduce your CPU load compared to gaming at 1080p, which, like I mentioned, can be useful if you don't have the greatest CPU. And as time goes on and GPUs and consoles become more and more powerful, 1440p high refresh rate monitors are becoming more affordable, with some being as low as 250 US dollars. However, I would highly encourage that you research which monitor would best suit your needs rather than what is the cheapest. Like, you should take into account, do I want an IPS display? Do I want a TN display? Do I want a VA display? It's important to do your research before you make a decision you'll regret. And now we'll talk about some of the disadvantages of 1440p. So, if you prefer playing video games on a TV, then 1440p isn't for you due to there being no such thing as 1440p TVs, in which point you should consider getting a 4K TV instead. And another disadvantage is its console performance. Whereas the Xbox Series S and the Series X support 1440p, the PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch do not currently offer 1440p support at this time. So let's say you were playing your Nintendo Switch on a 1440p display, you would have to play at 1080p. And on PS5, you would have to downscale from 4K. However, Sony has said in the past they would consider it in a future update if the demand is high. So while you can downscale from 4K, it still won't look as right as it is in native 1440p. And since 1440p is more taxing on GPU performance, you may have to turn down some settings in order to have a solid 60fps if you don't have the means to upgrade your GPU. And now we will talking about the last resolution on this list, 4K. So aside from 8K, which is out of the question for the vast majority of consumers at this moment, 4K is undoubtedly the best resolution that consumers can use to play their games on. So if you prefer playing video games on a larger display such as a television or a really big monitor, then 4K will make your games look beautiful. Can imagine it right now just relaxing on the couch playing the witcher 3 at 4k mm, just amazing and aside from the nintendo switch and the xbox series s all of the newest consoles specialize in gaming at 4k allowing for 4k displays to utilize the power of next gen consoles to the fullest and additionally if you just so happen to have an hdmi 2.1 tv then you may be able to use 4K and 120fps for certain games on the PS5 and Series X, such as Black Ops Cold War, Borderlands 3, and more. However, there are some disadvantages of 4K TVs as well. And so while 4K TVs are becoming more affordable, just like how 1440p monitors are becoming more affordable, they are still often fairly expensive, especially if you're looking for one with more features such as HDMI 2.1. And the only reasonably priced 4K monitors, which are usually at around 200 to 400 USD, are usually only 60 Hz. And the very few high refresh rate 4K monitors are very expensive. And they mostly use like TN panels, which aren't as nice as IPS. While there are some IPS panel 4K high refresh rate monitors, they'll be pretty expensive. And if you're not gaming on console, 4K gaming is very expensive for PC because of how demanding it is for your hardware. So you'll need a powerful GPU in order to play all the newest games optimally. So something like a 3080. But that about wraps it up and I hope this video helps you all make your decision. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this content, subscribe for more videos. I primarily make Final Fantasy XIV content, although I love to make other videos as well. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and I will see you guys later. You guys are the best. Umbra, out.